Uh, greetings, everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is the, you know, um, I'm not one of those who always been putting out something, but this is my first time. Um, so uh, today um, I had some problems with the LM Studio to how to get it running. And also today I'm going to show you how we can fix that issue. And I'm going to give the basic steps so that to get it working and what you need to do um, currently it's only um, using the CPU normally it should be using the GPU so since there's this this laptop really don't have that um, type of processing power so there are a few things that we need to do so that we can get um, your you know your LM studio up and running I did did a little bit of um, research trying to find a, an, uh, a video on YouTube that actually explained how you could get this to work. So currently it's working right now for me, but it's pretty slow because of the CPU. The memory is normally, you know, it shows that the CPU processing and how much RAM it's using right here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to um, uninstall this one and then reinstall it. Uh, these will remain so I have the Dolphin R1 distill and also the oh, the deep seek R1 distill and the Dolphin 3 Llama 3.1 so these gonna remain here I won't you know actually uh, delete any of these but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually um, delete this LM studio and it has been updated to uh, 3.3.11 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna reinstall the old version and update it and then I'm gonna show you the errors and then I'm gonna show you the things that I end up doing to remove this issue okay stay tuned so welcome back um, now we have our LM app right here and we can see that in our uh, the startup here we don't have it you know in the the process bar so let's go ahead and and um, run this thing uh, we're just gonna open and have it installed so once it's come up you can decide on whether you want it to have multiple users or just you so I uh, could just I just click that one then now allow it to f go in the necessary folder just keep it simple and install all right so let it do its thing and then we'll be right back so i did so i did it uninstall it reinstall it so it kept the uh, previous information okay but it did um brought up here that it needs to be updated so we're just going to run the updates let it do its thing now the update has been finalized and it, the update we're going to apply those updates okay okay the updates were applied so now um, we have the review notes here so we could just click out that and um, I'm going to check to see if if the if it kept my settings or it did put back the things that tend to um, create the issue now the issue really associated within the runtime section and yes if I try to run it I, I will show you what's going to happen when you try to load something okay so now here we go here and we're going to load one of these um, one of these uh, AI process so we're gonna see if whether the deep seek it doesn't matter let's click on any one of these and then um, it should allow it to load so now we're gonna see if we can actually um, you know make a statement or anything to see what it does so let's say um, I have a question up here which I probably use so that let's go back for where is New York City so we're gonna just um, take that and re and 
uh, copy this actually we can actually come here and do the copy okay to save and enter so let me go and copy make a copy of that me take it to the where you put the message type your message here I'm gonna just cut and paste okay and I'm gonna send let's see what happens so if you're having problems it seems as if that problem went and it actually was corrected but for those who have actually because normally you would see the error message pops up right here so to eliminate the error messages it it, it do take some time to run the processor but we're going to stop this and I will show you what you need to do to make this this video as quick as possible and not drawn out too long. So let's stop this. Okay. So when you go here in the settings, the app settings, click on that. And then you go to the runtime. Click on the runtime. You want to delete the GPU, which says the survey was unsuccessful. So when I realize when I actually delete this from here, literally remove this, uninstall it, deletes it, and then I go back and get rid of Vulkan, I realize that um, by, you know, um, well, well, the one on the bottom, when I delete these two, because I'm not sure if they're necessary, I just use just the core CPU. I realized by deleting those and actually when you come to the hardware section you want to choose custom but it's going to limit you at four gigabytes of memory which is okay just leave it there and um, and keep everything the same by doing that you will be able to have your AI up and running okay so I just want to share that with you and thanks very much. Thank you very much for watching. Until then, if you have any questions, you can put them below. And um, until next time, peace.